to Radio Shack to buy a capacitor. The salesman asked if I was paying cash. I told him, nah, I'll charge it. All right, thank Reddit for that one. joke from Reddit on camera. This is good. We're doing well. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so that you'll never miss a time that I'm being obnoxious on the internet. Capacitors are one of the basic building blocks that let you build more and more advanced circuits. Like batteries, capacitors store their energy in the form of electric charge. However, unlike batteries, capacitors release all of their energy really quickly. So you can think of a battery like a like long slog, you know, a horse-drawn carriage going the same speed down a road, whereas a capacitor is more like a catapult where you kind of just draw and whoop, poof, there it goes. Camera flashes and defibrillators take advantage of this. They store energy slowly over time and then release it all very quickly when it's needed. Capacitors are basically two conductive plates that have a gap in between them and are near each other but don't actually touch. And when voltage is applied across these plates, it stores energy in the electric field between them. Depending on the material of the plates and the filling in between them, whether it be air, which would be the most simple thing you could possibly do, or a dielectric, which is what's used in industrial capacitors, you change the properties of your capacitor. You change the thing we call capacitance. Capacitance is expressed as the ratio between the electric charge stored on the plates and the voltage difference across the plates. It's measured in a unit called farads, named after English physicist Michael Faraday, which was back in the like late 1700s, early 1800s. So you can change a capacitor's capacitance by doing things like changing the distance between the plates, by changing the insulator that's in between the plates, so air, or to make it more efficient, a dielectric. And you can also change the size of the plates. In a lot of commercial capacitors, you'll see they're like this big, and the, the plates are actually in a coil. So lots of different options that you can do. All capacitors have two leads or two connectors that can be plugged into your circuit and basically one lead goes to one plate, the other lead goes to the other plate and that's how it integrates into your circuit. Just like with resistors, capacitors can be used together in a circuit to either increase or decrease the total capacitance of your circuit. However, the relationship between capacitors is flipped from resistors. If you have capacitors in series, it goes something like this. Since the current through all the capacitors is the same, the charge stored in each of the capacitors will also be the same. Which makes sense because all of the charge is coming from its adjacent capacitor. So one capacitor says hello to the next capacitor, which then gives its charge to the next capacitor, etc. To calculate total equivalent capacitance, the math is the same as resistors in parallel. It is 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3 plus 1 over C4, etc. All equals 1 over C total. For capacitors in parallel, the voltages across each of the capacitors are the same, which makes adding them together really easy because you can think of it like all of the top plates are connected together and all of the bottom plates are connected together because they have the same voltage, and you get this one giant mega capacitor, which means that you can say C1 plus C2 plus C3, etc. equals C total, which is really nice and easy, and we love that. Hopefully you found this to be a helpful introduction to capacitors and that you are leaving this video smarter than you were when you started, which is always our goal around here. Now that we have resistors and capacitors under our belt, we can start on RC circuits and oscillators and all kinds of other fun jazz. However, if you do think we're getting a little too electronics heavy, feel free to let us know in the comments below what you want to see next. Signing off, this is Zyla and Andrew sitting in a corner from Beauty the Bowl. He's here! <laughs> and I'm going to say it again because... YouTubers can never say this too many times. Subscribe.